Today we're taking a look at the world around us, up very close, with an open source microscope that you can build. See my video here for an in-depth walkthrough on how to make one. With this level of magnification, we can see how much more intricate things are like hair, spider silk, and even household dust. Here are five things to look at with a microscope that you can build. Number one, what is that painful sliver in my wife's foot? Now we can look at it. Reminds me of a Harry Potter magic wand, definitely of the dark arts. And number two, what is it? Bulldog fur. And is that a sliver in her fur? I was surprised to see a pattern on the fur and I'm curious what it will look like at even higher magnification. Hmm, a future video perhaps? Moving on to number three, human hair. Mine, to be exact, a strand of blonde hair to be even more precise. We can see that it is somewhat translucent and we can just barely see that it's not perfectly smooth. This brings us to number four. Yes, that is plain old household dust. Dusty dust, to be sure. What sticks out to me is how many shapes there are. It looks like various hair and fur, and I'm guessing that some of those are pieces of skin, cotton fuzz from clothing, and who knows what else. Looks like it's time to put my air purifier on high for a while. And lastly, number five, if you guessed spiderweb, you would be right. Bonus points if you also guessed dusty spiderweb. Man, my air is really dusty. That's how I get rid of the spiders. Yeah, that's it. As you can see, I don't have a fancy microscope to do this. This is the open flexor microscope that I built myself from parts you can easily find. Make sure you check out this other video showing you how to make one. What's the most interesting thing you've seen when it's magnified? Tell me in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.